Hi everybody, and welcome to our first video on integration by parts. This is going to be an integration technique that allows us to find an antiderivative when the integrand contains a product. Let me give you an example. Say I want to find an antiderivative of x times e to the 5x. Now a very common mistake that students make is to take a look at this integrand and say, hey, look, there's an x. I know an antiderivative for that. It's uh, 1 half x squared. And, uh, ooh, look at that over there, e to the 5x. Antiderivative is uh, 1 fifth e to the 5x. So I'll just take those two answers and multiply them together. Uh-uh. Danger, danger. This doesn't work any more than it did when you were in calculus 1. If you had to take the derivative of a product, it wasn't the product of the derivatives. You had to use the product rule. So we're going to have to have a different technique when I have an integral that, where the integrand is a product. Let's see how it works. So recall the product rule. The product rule said if I have two functions, say let's call them u and v, and I take a derivative, then I get the derivative of u times v plus u times the derivative of v. Fine. If I want to take a rule for differentiation and turn it into a rule for anti-differentiation, well, it makes sense that I should take an antiderivative. So let's do that. I'll take an antiderivative of uv prime. And of course, I have to have a dx over here. And then I have an antiderivative of this sum, u prime v plus uv prime dx. Now, when I take an antiderivative of a derivative, up to a constant, I get back my original function. So antiderivative of uv prime is just going to be uv. And I'm going to let that plus c go until the very end. On the other side, I have an antiderivative of a sum. That will be the sum of the antiderivatives. So I get over here u prime v dx, take an antiderivative, and then an antiderivative of u v prime dx. Now, one quick reminder. One quick reminder here is if I had du dx, we could write that as u prime. If I move that dx to the right-hand side, then I know that du is equal to u prime dx. So I'm going to use that to rewrite my two integrals on the right. So for example, this u prime and this dx, I can put those together. I have that up here as du. And over here I have a v prime and a dx. I can put those together as a dv. So I could rewrite this if I liked as an antiderivative of v du plus an antiderivative of u dv. And the last step to making this into what we call the integration by parts formula is to take this antiderivative of v du and subtract it to the left. Once we do that, we have that the antiderivative of u dv is uv minus an antiderivative of v du. And this is our so-called integration by parts formula. All right, let's see how it works with our example. Now, what we had to do, right, in our integration by parts formula is identify some portion as our u and some portion as our dv. So over here, I'm going to assign x to be our u. And then the rest of this expression, e to the 5x times dx, that's what we're going to assign to be the dv. OK, so how does the integration by parts formula work? Well, let's make a little table. We have our u, that's x. We have our dv, that's e to the 5x dx. And now, if I go to the other side of the formula, I need to know u. Hey, I already know u. I need to know v. Ah, I don't have v, I have dv. So we're going to need to know v. What else do I need? I need minus, OK, that's easy, an antiderivative of v. Hey, I'm going to figure out v. And I need du. I only have u, so I need to find du still. All right, let's see. So first, finding du, well, according to this little formula, du is just the derivative of u times dx. If u equals x, then du is just going to be 1 dx, because the derivative of x is 1. So 1 dx, and we just write the dx. 
Now how about over here? Well, I know what dv is. If I want to get v, I have to take an antiderivative. So I need an antiderivative of e to the 5x. Okay, this is 1 fifth e to the 5x. Now, I want to put everything into my integration by parts formula. So, our integral is going to equal uv, so I'm going to multiply here, 1 fifth x e to the 5x minus an antiderivative of what? v du. So that means I multiply across. So v is 1 fifth e to the 5x, and du is just dx. So I have 1 fifth e to the 5x dx. And so what I've done is I've replaced an antiderivative I didn't know with some junk minus an antiderivative that, well, actually, I do know this one, right? The x is gone. All I have left is this 1 fifth, and well, we can pull constants out, right? All I have really is this e to the 5x, and we already found an antiderivative of that. So I can finish this quickly as 1 fifth x e to the 5x minus 1 25th, all right? 1 fifth came from here, and I have another 1 fifth there. 1 25th e to the 5x, and of course, Finally, we have our constant of integration. Okay? So, this is how we can use integration by parts when we have some sort of a polynomial times some other function like an exponential or a trig function, and it's going to allow us to reduce the degree of that polynomial so that eventually we end up with an antiderivative where we can actually just compute it directly using a, a known formula.